Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Over the last three days it has of course been New York Comic Con and as part of this as ever there's been a host of new fantastic drops and reveals in terms of upcoming toys and releases and even before then, we've actually had a number of different drops from McFarlane Toys as well, which I want to cover today. Now, as you know, I have a tendency to focus on certain products and companies. I really like Hasbro's Marvel Legends. I like some of their Black Series stuff. I also like McFarlane Toys and certainly their DC Multiverse line and even a little bit of NECA and their horror figures from time to time as well. So these are the things I'm going to broadly cover today. There's actually a lot of other things out there, um, but... I always suggest that you go over to one of my favorite uh, websites, which is toyarc.com, where they have extensive coverage of all the different drops and reveals, and there's various different links on there that you can check out. So make sure you head over there to cover anything that I haven't covered in today's video if there's other areas that you're interested in. But as ever, I'm going to start off by taking a look at the Diamond Select uh, Marvel offering. Now, sadly, there's not an awful lot that's new here, to be honest. Where a lot of the reveals have come here is in their statues, and they do a lot of these and they look absolutely fantastic i personally don't collect them um but if you're interested there's quite a few cool ones obviously there's this monstrous version of venom here which looks uh, pretty cool uh, we have a fantastic uh, wolverine here as well if i just uh, zoom in on that uh, i have to say this looks uh, great uh, obviously we've seen mcfarlane toys uh, give them a run for their money recently with some of their comic specific uh, covers uh, models that we've seen uh, which look great but again not something I'm going to be collecting, I don't think. But if you're into the, these statues, yeah, these are these are pretty fun. These look uh, pretty nice. Obviously, we've got Adam Warlock there. Uh, yeah, uh, Game of Earth Spider-Man versus the Venom. I see. Okay, so this is part of the uh, the Spider-Man Two range. Cool. Okay, and of course we've got uh, Miles uh, Morales Spider-Man there as well. Uh, so that makes a, a pretty cool diorama if you get all three, I see. Yeah, that looks great. It looks really nice. Okay, now for me, the things that I'm really interested in is, of course, the uh, Marvel Select line. Uh, now, sadly, there's no new reveals here. The, the figures that we've seen on show are the same figures that we've you know, probably had on pre-order for some while. <laughs> um, I think I put my pre-order in for Archangel last year. Um, a year later, I'm still waiting for this figure. I mean... You know, I, I love Diamond Select. I love the way they've moved with their Marvel Select line in recent years. You know, given us the, probably the best of all worlds in terms of articulation, detailing, and accessories. Uh, they, to be honest, they're, they're probably one of the very best in the market for me. Uh, I get really excited whenever they release one. But this year, despite having lots announced, the only figure I've actually had in my collection is the Captain America. Um, we've seen Archangel. We've got war machine again looks absolutely fantastic and we have anilis as well uh i'll just get to that yep again got him on pre-order looks brilliant just where is he <laughs> i just feel like i you know you have to wait uh, for a long long time they have some real real issues with distribution unfortunately um but these all look fantastic sadly uh nothing new here though and that's basically it for diamond select in terms of the marvel select line uh, they also have a star wars line but again they're all just busts and statues again not for me personally um it seems like their seven inch line which was similar to uh, marvel select seems to have wrapped up and that's a shame because that was that was nice i had a couple from them i had the uh, the chewbacca and the uh, boba fett really nice figures uh, and there's a stormtrooper as well um but yeah sadly uh, not meant to be okay so moving on then Sticking with Star Wars, um, we have uh, the Black Series. So this is a six-inch figure, um, Clone Commander Cody. This one is actually kind of exciting to me because it's got that Revenge of the Sith packaging, um, which is pretty nice. Um, if I just zoom in on that a little bit. Um, yeah, you may remember this. This was obviously from the Hasbro uh, three and three quarter inch scale back in what, 2005, 2006 sort of time. Um, kind of cool to see that packaging writ large, uh, very nostalgic, uh, pretty fun. Uh, only, of course, this is in the six inch scale. And, you know, this is we've had many 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 different um, variants of uh, of clone troopers across the years but i have to say um you know cody is one that i actually remember from the film he's quite distinctive obviously even comes with the the, the hologram of the um of the emperor there which is pretty cool um and of course you've got the alternate head there with the helmet and that i think this one's actually a goer this is one i'll be quite tempted to pick up um obviously at the moment all we have are these uh, sort of photos uh, digital renderings uh, as opposed to in hand pictures um but you can see the uh, both sides of the package in there and you know, some close-ups of the figure itself and yeah uh, this looks really good i think 
I think people will be pretty happy with this. Now, if I skip along, um, there were other reveals here as well. Um, a lot of them were focused on uh, the upcoming Skeleton Crew, um, which has yet to be released, I believe. Um, so really difficult to comment at this stage on whether these are good characters or not. Um, at the moment, they're not particularly exciting. Uh, the human characters uh, for me look a little bit drab, as they tend to with, with modern Star Wars. A lot of beiges and browns, which don't lend themselves particularly well to action figures, in, in my opinion. This is more the kind of thing that works well, um, and obviously it feels more Star Wars. Although this is a bit, probably a little bit too cutesy for me <laughs> as a design. Um, but, you know, this looks more appropriate um, for, for a figure. I mean, it looks more fun is what I'm trying to say. Um, so what have we got here? So unfortunately, as I said, there's a bunch of characters here. I can't I can't say these could be really great characters and it could be really exciting, um, but it's really difficult for me to comment at this stage because, yeah, I've not seen the show, so I, I don't know. Um, standing on their own two feet as an image, yeah, I feel nothing really uh, <laughs> at this stage. But obviously, uh, that's always the problem when you're uh, launching a new show um, and trying to get some product out there and, and build anticipation. Um, but I think there was some extra stuff in here as well. Uh, let me scooch along a little bit. Uh, so this is this is all the six-inch line. Uh, this is quite cool. I have to say, of all of them, this is the best-looking creature design. I think this has got a really cool look. I really like it's got that trench coat there. The uh, the, the the pouch there with the multiple weapons it seems to come really loaded with weapons. So this guy looks great. Um, he looks really cool, kind of like a werewolf type. I, it, Pirate Captain Brutus. Okay, I'm on board with that. That looks great. That looks really, really good. Some decent sculpting and paint apps there as well. Looking good. Yeah, cool. He looks great. I like, I like the look of him. Hopefully uh, that, that comes across on screen as well. Okay, then we have the Vintage Collection, which again, I think is pretty focused. Oh no, to be fair, it looks, it looks like it's covering um, four different lines here. So Skeleton Crew again, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Ashoka. Okay, so Skeleton Crew. <laughs> random photo there someone's feet <laughs> um yeah okay so more of the same but in a smaller scale of course this is in the uh, the three and three quarter scale isn't it um ah here we go so here's a new hope more my speed um dr everzan um amazing we haven't actually had him already um now i don't tend to collect the vintage collection i don't tend to collect this scale uh, but i know this is very popular um, with a lot of people because of course it maintains the scale the integrity of the scale that a lot of people have been collecting since uh the, the late 70s and early 80s um so i can totally understand um why people do collect this um and this of course is linking into the already previously announced um moss eisley uh, street scene which is cool and of course we saw uh, luke uh, announced earlier as well um so looking pretty cool um although hey i didn't know the tonica sisters have been uh, announced or the barkeep actually Oh, that's interesting. So I don't know whether they have been announced or whether they're a tease or, or what, or whether they're already out there. I said I'm not up to date with these, but that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you can definitely, if you are a world builder and you want to put on big displays, then you know, the vintage uh, collection is probably the way to go, because um, I think that'll get completed, and that'll be really, really cool. As we know, obviously, we've got this is the facade of the outside, but then there is also, uh, I think, the Haslab Moss Eisley Cantina as well, which is uh, pretty exciting. That would make a pretty awesome display. Um, so so yeah, I can imagine a lot of fans are very excited by all this. Okay, okay. So from Empire Strikes Back, we have uh, the Snow Trooper again. You know, hard to believe that we haven't had one already. Um, maybe we have. I don't know. But this looks great. It looks like it's got some cloth material in there as well around the skirting, which looks great. And yeah, you know, if it wasn't in the scale, I'd be snapping him up. I've got him in the six-inch scale, but I don't think he had any of the cloth elements uh, that we're seeing here. Um, so yeah, looks really nice. I always really like the look of the snow trooper. It looks really menacing uh, with that mask there. Really, really creepy. Cool, awesome. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. And then I think we have Ashoka, yes. Um, so of course, this is how Learn has been. Um, so pretty cool. It's nice when you get, uh, you know, an, an, uh, a big, uh, what we're going to call this a big beast <laughs> for fun to ride on uh, it reminds me a little bit of the Jew back sets that we got in the uh, the power of the force 2 line in the 90s always really exciting that's really very very cool and uh, yeah nice nice uh, looking set again not a series that i've actually seen or have uh, much knowledge of in all truth uh, but you know looks like a nice toy set i can definitely see the appeal of this uh, always glad to see a lightsaber in there so yeah this looks really fun this this looks great lovely okay and i think actually that that's really well posed. Look at that. That looks great. They must have uh, additional legs there for it to sit down. That's that's awesome. That looks really cool. 
Let's move on now then to take a look at Necker. So change in speed slightly at this point, but I thought I'd cover it because there's a lot of horror figures on here that um, aren't even particularly mentioned, um, but I didn't even know some of these were in the pipeline. Um, they look really, really cool. Um, so let's just go through uh, this booth. Um, and just talk about some of these. So, yeah, we'd already heard about the, uh, you know, the, the latest line uh, or wave, uh, the latest wave of um, universal uh, monsters, which is really cool. So we're seeing this fantastic Invisible Man. I'm really looking forward to uh, get my hands on that. We had an Invisible Man already, but it's in more of the, um, he's more in the suit where this is obviously is the smoking jacket. And this is how I tend to think of the character. So this is my preferred uh, look for this version, which is great. We also have down here, so there he is there. Um, but then we also have the, uh, the, the mummy, of course the Boris Karloff mummy um, before he's made into a mummy um, which is great so that's uh, again really cool we've actually got quite a few figures now from from the uh, from the, the, the mummy film we've had the fantastic uh, sarcophagus set as well um, so this will round that out quite nicely uh, having uh, this version of the character in there and this looks to be really nicely well done um, you know the robes there uh, look really nicely uh, molded and sculpted and yeah he's got some nice accessories as well and some alternate heads which is absolutely fantastic so i think this looks like a really nice figure as ever to be fair you know the, the you can pretty much rely on, on NECA when it comes to the universal uh, horror monsters because uh, they're all they're all lovely um of course there's uh, frankenstein brian brian of frankenstein dracula <laughs> uh, you know werewolf and um yeah, yeah, creature from black lagoon of course, we've seen most of these figures already before, um, which is which is great. I mean, they're, they're, they're really nice figures. They're quite old by this point, but what a fantastic collection. Um, really, really lovely. Um, what I hadn't realized is that we're getting an updated Nosferatu, um, so a different a different look for Nosferatu. Obviously, he's in his thick robes um, when he's the, the coachman, the horseman, uh, in the early part of the film. Uh, a really cool, different look. I don't think I've ever seen this version of the character in figure form before, so kind of cool that Necker have uh, done something interesting and different here. Um, I really like the look of these robes. They, they look great, obviously, it's cloth there um hope, hopefully that allows for a lot more flexibility with the figure and that looks fantastic i think it looks really really good um and then we have this really interesting uh, box set with uh, obviously it has frankenstein dracula the creature from black lagoon and the wolfman um but with very different colorings and it looks like it even comes with uh, the coffin for dracula which is bright red now this looks like a sort of collector's set like i said very different coloring um not sure I'm mad about the ginger wolfman, to be honest. Um, I'd love to see a bit more of that. Uh, and I wonder what that is. I don't really know, so sorry. I'm, I'm waffling on. Let me, let's me let have a look at some of the, the other pictures so we can get some more clarity. Um, so, a lot of other stuff in here that, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what these things are. <laughs> really, not, not, my, not my speed at all. Um, okay, here's a closer look at the Nosferatu. Um, this might be a new head sculpt, actually, as well. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's different to the one that I've got. Because uh, the one I had came with three different uh, distinct heads. Uh, this looks like a brand new one. Cool. Of course, uh, there we have uh, London After Midnight. Um, it looks great, this figure. And this character always looks fantastic. Um, such a shame that uh, that's been lost. Um, of course, Phantom of the Opera, again, already been on the market for a long time. Likewise, the Wolfman, uh, Dracula, Creature from Black Lagoon, Frankenstein. And there, here we go. Closer look at the uh, the the, the, the pre-mummy, I suppose. <laughs> looking looking great there. Look look at the paint apps and the detail on that face. That looks absolutely fantastic. And likewise, if we look at the at the mummy, not the mummy, <laughs> the Invisible Man. Excuse me. It is early in the morning over here in the UK uh, at the time of recording. Um, and yeah, look at that. The holes in the face there and pulling the wraps off. That's really cool. What a fantastic job they've done there. Obviously, it's going to be restricted when it comes to articulation because of the, the one piece here around the around the body, I suspect. But um, it's all about how this looks and the display you can create. And this looks absolutely brilliant. Uh, Bride of Frankenstein, we've already got. Okay, then we've got these these cartoony mini mate type things. Uh, obviously, it's focused on Beetlejuice. Um, obviously, as we know, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice was a massive hit, um, and I'm, there's a lot of companies out there scrambling to get uh, some 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 toys uh, <laughs> on the line. And Necker are no exception. They've got, obviously got this range. They're re-releasing um, their Beetlejuice, their very static uh, Beetlejuice figure from uh, well, about 20 years ago. Um, but they're also doing uh, a ultimate version, which we'll have a look at in a moment. Uh, so here's that static version where he only really has the articulation, the head, and the 
arms. I think at the waist as well. Um, and this is obviously their 18-inch scale, um, which is obviously massive. I think they also do them in the 7-inch scale as well. Just uh, So the same figure, just uh, different scales, um, which is you know pretty cool if you want that sort of very static figure. For me, I like a little bit more articulation, um, but the detailing and the paint apps, you know, you can't argue with it. They, they look great. Okay, so here he is, yeah. Here is the, the static version in the 7-inch the scale. Then we also have a very static version of him in the, uh, the bridal suit uh, from the first film. Um, but this is the ultimate version of... Uh, Beetlejuice, and I forget what they call him. Is it Junk Man? Something like that. Um, but this has basically all the modern articulation that you'd expect from NECA. Obviously, you can see uh, knee joints down there, leg joints, you know, obviously all, all around the elbows, uh, all, all the stuff you'd usually expect. Um, so I really hope that we get a reissue of, of this guy here in the striped suit, but with this kind of articulation, that's what I would really want, and I'd definitely snap it up. As it is, I don't particularly like this look, <laughs> so I, I won't be bothering with this version, but um, but it is, you know, it's, it's, it's cool, and I'm sure a lot of collectors would be really happy to have that. But what's more exciting, um, of course, he also has a spike jacket as well which is you know a nice touch um which is pretty cool but what's more exciting though to me is this in the background here so you can see this diorama piece of the uh, inferno room so here is the uh, close-up uh, production photos of uh, this fantastic diorama uh, which looks to be a mix of cardboard and plastic in places and it even has functioning doors there which is very cool of course it's coming with this uh, this figure here uh, a close-up i figure what you're getting in terms of that ultimate version of the the, the junk man um which is uh, pretty cool so of course he's got the spike jacket there and he's got a number of different face plates as well which is uh which is pretty interesting and some swappable hands which is uh which is great um but then yeah here we go here's the uh the dante's inferno room um which is uh, pretty cool uh really nicely done and replicates what we see on screen um a lot of details does this light up actually or was that just painted on it looks really really cool and obviously done some fantastic photography here of it um so yeah you know this looks pretty accurate to what we see on screen it looks really fun um it is just a frontage though uh, there's nothing really you know inside or behind it so this is coming in at 179.99 dollars which over in the uk will definitely be 180 pounds um quite pricey just for a frontage really now they did do a really cool street scene frontage uh, a few years ago which i have um but that actually had like three dimensions to it so you could actually put figures inside the building it was really tall it was huge um and it you know it was it was, it was mostly well it was all plastic with with a cardboard back in for the uh, for the night cityscape which was absolutely fantastic i think that was probably worth that money this here doesn't seem to be worth quite as much in my opinion because it, a lot of this is cardboard and it is just really frontage it's really well done it's very accurate to what we see on screen and i'm guessing oh it, it does have light up lights to be fair um actually does say that here and it does come with the, the figure as well so i suppose if you think about it the figure is usually around about 40 pounds so that means what you're paying for the diorama is around about 440 still seems a bit steep um but nevertheless uh, this is pretty pretty cool pretty exciting um you know and if you've got yeah, some extra cash to splash then yeah it's going to make a great diorama if you're a big fan of beetlejuice so going back to NECA then so what else we've got a lot of these like toony things which I, I, i'm not into uh, at all but we have some other um horror themed uh, releases so i think these have been announced previously but i don't think i've covered them so we have vincent price which is really cool i mean obviously vincent price so synonymous with horror um fantastic to have him in in the seven inch scale and produced by necker really nice that he's got the the cigarette because i think there's some kind of weird rule or law out there that you can't produce action figures with cigarettes certainly not for in any children's line uh, but great that we've got him here uh, and this this cool school uh, absolutely fantastic i mean this is just basically vincent price uh, i don't think it's associated with any particular role um but wow you know really awesome obviously horror legend and then we've got some of the chainsaw massacre uh, figures i don't know whether they had these before whether these are quite old reveals um, not a film that i'm into not one i'm going to collect but i know a lot of people uh, really love this film um and there's a lot of fans out there who'll be really pleased to be able to get some of these figures okay then we've got the uh, christopher lee dracula um and i think it's specifically meant to be horror of dracula the first dracula film um brilliant i've actually got mine on pre-order this looks fantastic look at the uh, the detail on the blood around the face there and the bloodshot eyes brilliant looks really really good i can't wait to get hold of this and i love that he's got the uh, the cloth cape as we saw with the bella lugosi dracula i love that i think that works really really well um and we get some alternate heads here as well um which is fantastic um but also the van helsing uh, peter cushing there uh looking very dapper and and dashing um fantastic again it can be quite limited when it comes to the articulation here because of the coats but 
but it's all about how this looks and yeah it looks really really spot on and um, do we have yeah, we've got some alternate heads there, obviously with the with the hat um, and the uh, the more crazed <laughs> end of film uh, fight scene head. Uh, absolutely brilliant, and I'm sure he'll have some really fun accessories as well. Then we've got Megan again, not a film I've seen, um, but uh, I know very very popular, very successful film, so I'm sure a lot of people will be happy to get their hands uh, on this figure. And then they have this like toony version as well, which. As I said, uh, not for me. Um, but also, they're doing a, a cloth version. So in their um, their like the eight inch scale uh, line, um, which looks really nice. Uh, yeah, lot, lots of cloth details here. It looks to be pretty accurate. So obviously going all in for Megan there um, across their different scales. Then we've got the Evil Dead. Um, again, the seven inch line here. I, I'm pretty sure we've seen these figures before. Um, these might be just uh, repainted. I'm not sure. But uh, obviously coming from the, the first film there, uh, they look fantastic. They look really, really good and some fun accessories there and alternate heads. And yeah, the the, the paint detail is, is spectacular, especially all, all that blood detail there is, uh, yeah, pretty immense. So yeah, that looks, looks really fun. Um, and of course we have American Werewolf in London. Um, I, this looks like a two-pack, I think. Um, it might be... Yeah, I think it's a two-pack. Um, so really cool. The, obviously, the, the zombie version um, there looking really good. Lots of detail. I really love like what's going on around the neck there. They've caught that really, really well. Uh, this looks absolutely fantastic. And then we have the early turn-in version there uh, before David becomes the uh, the werewolf. It looks uh, pretty cool. Again, really nice uh, paint apps there. Fantastic sculpting. Uh, this looks like a really, really nice figure. Uh, some more of these Toonie Terrors, uh, yeah, no, no, not for me, <laughs> but, you know, a pretty broad range of characters from across all sorts of different uh, horror franchises there, so, um, you know, I'll give them that at least. Okay, and um, then we have that 8 inch line, um, which is cool, Thanksgiving? That, that's not a film I've ever heard of, what, what is that? That looks, that looks pretty interesting, that looks pretty cool, I'm going to have to track that down. Obviously two versions of that, we've got the 7 inch scale and then we've got the, the 8 inch there with the cloth costume, obviously Saw and yeah, well, they're both Saw aren't they, yeah, um, so yeah, cool. Uh, then we've got some Elvira again, we've had this for a long time now, multiple different versions of this I think, but this is new, this looks like a slightly more cartoony version, not quite sure what this is from, like an army version, um, not that familiar with this character to be honest with you, so I don't really know, it must be taken from some film, I know that this character is featured in obviously comic books, uh, TV shows, films, you know, I'm familiar with the, the character but I've never really engaged with any of the, the content so it's hard to know what this is specifically taken from but obviously um, going strong there because we've had a number of different versions of this character now from NECA in the 8 inch scale um, so yeah uh, I, I guess this is a, another variant out there that will please fans of Elvira okay more Toonie Terrors uh, yeah, I said not for me not even sure what this is from <laughs> being completely honest with you um, I think this is basically it's oh we've got some no I, I i tell lie we do have some more interesting bits and pieces we've got um silence of the lambs now these look to be very static so i guess are these re-releases or figures they had years ago uh, this is very much in the old style of NECA when they first started out and um, not much in the way of articulation but obviously fantastic little uh, diorama pieces and um, that look great um but yeah i wasn't even aware of these being on the market so that's uh, that's interesting uh, and of course we've got Ghostface there as well. Um, a couple of different versions of Ghostface would look good. This one looks great actually. Really love the the cloth costume. That looks fantastic. Again, obviously a very iconic look. Okay, now I did want to just quickly point out uh, Beast Kingdom because they're doing some fantastic stuff at the moment. They've got a range of fantastic Batman coming <laughs> next year, which I'm very, very tempted to pull the trigger on. I haven't done it quite yet. Um, but it looks like they're also moving into Lord of the Rings and uh, here is Gandalf. And I thought I'd just take a quick look at this because um, I know that um, Darren Select uh, do a range of... Uh, the Lord of the Rings figures, I've sadly missed them. Uh, some of them look good, some of them not so good from photos, um, but this looks absolutely brilliant. Um, so I think this is an 8 inch figure, obviously cloth ex cloth accessories, you know, a cape and clothing there. He's actually got rooted hair, what a fantastic head sculpt, and some of these accessories look absolutely amazing. This is a fantastic figure, no doubt about it, he looks awesome. Um, yeah, he's got multiple different hands. Of course, he's got a sword there, uh, his pipe, his bag, his hat, everything, and of course, his staff. It, what, what a fantastic figure. I mean, this looks absolutely uh, awesome to me. Um, 
Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Uh, so I think if you're a Lord of the Rings fan and you collect, you know, eight inch scale figures or, you know, just Beast Kingdom figures, then, the, you know, this this is kind of kind of a must have. Whether you go deep on a line or not, um, Gandalf is always one of those characters that he fits in anywhere, I think. Um, he's a kind of just a fantastic standalone character. Um, but obviously this opens the doors to go pretty deep uh, <laughs> into the Lord of the Rings and there's many, many, many characters they could do, um, which is you know, kind of exciting for Lord of the Rings fans. So this is great. I think this is a really brilliant way to start. Um, what a fantastic figure. He looks awesome. I'm very tempted myself. Okay, so sticking with Beast Kingdom, I thought I'd also show off a few of the DC figures as well, which is kind of cool. Um, so there's not much actually to show you here, unfortunately. Um, there's only three images. Now, in the first image, we've got four figures. Um, of course, we've got Darkseid. We've got this sort of classic Superman breaking the chains. Uh, there's this uh, Superman-Batman composite, um, which looks kind of cool. Kind of an odd one to lead with, though, I think, for me. Um, I'm not sure how well... A, a, a figure like this is going to sell. Um, we've seen this kind of thing before uh, across different lines with different characters, actually. Um, they never seem to sell particularly well because I think they're quite niche. Um, but, you know, maybe they don't need to sell so many. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is going to be really, really popular. It looks great, don't get me wrong, uh, but it's not one I'm going to rush out to pay a lot of money for, let's put it that way, because this is quite high-end. The Beast Kingdom, you know, they cost a, a fair few pennies. Um, so, yeah, I think you have to be selective uh, in terms of how deep you go in lines like this. Uh, um, but, of course, it all depends on your budget, and you, you may have a lot more money than me, so uh, fair play to you. Um, <laughs> anyway, I am waffling on. Uh, this Batman, I have to say, looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, as I said, I'm very tempted to go in on their, their movie Batman um, line um, because I'm a sucker and I've just got all virtually all of the uh, McFarlane toys Batman in the 7 inch scale now I'm thinking about doing it in the 8 inch scale um, but this is obviously a comic book version and I love it, I think this looks this looks brilliant, I mean he just looks so good, look at this cape uh, the detailing and the, the paint apps here just looks absolutely fantastic You know, everything just looks great, I, I really really like this Batman and to be fair I actually really like this uh, this dark side as well, where he, he seems to have some um, uh, like a leather tunic there as well which is great um, and, and obviously a cloth cape and I, I think he looks really cool um, these two for me are real winners but in particular this Batman, I, I'd be very tempted to get the comic book Batman to go alongside my my uh, my movie Batman, uh, and this this is a great look. I love this look for Batman. Okay, perhaps the most exciting though is uh, the reveal of the Batman Returns line, uh, which is great. So as I said, we've got a lot of movie Batman coming. We do have a Michael Keaton from 1989, uh, all the way through to the Robert Pattinson. We actually have two versions of Bale, one from Batman Begins and one from The Dark Knight. Um, but what is missing in all of that, of course, is Batman Returns, which is a very different costume to the 89, as we know. Um, really great to see that. But what's even better is that he's, he seems to be coming with uh, the head here. Um, uh, sorry, the, the Michael Keaton head sculpt, uh, unmasked version. Sorry, uh, struggling to get my words out this morning. Um, obviously not painted yet, but this looks brilliant. Uh, again, if I go in deep, I'm going to have to get this one, aren't I? Um, he looks brilliant. I actually really like Batman Returns, um, despite some of its flaws. So seeing the Penguin here, yeah, that's really exciting. Um, I know that they did uh, a, a, an 89 uh, cloth version of, of their figures, um, which were a little bit a little bit out of my price range, but they did, uh, obviously, the, the, the Nicholson Joker, they did the 89 Batman with a sort of rubber suit. Um, but this seems to be more of the plastic base, which I'm hoping will be the slightly cheaper uh, price point that we've seen recently i hope this remains true for these although obviously we've seen a lot of cloth material there on the penguin and is that rooted hair as well i think it might be um coming with some you know fun penguin accessories so i suspect the penguin's going to be quite a pricey figure um now what we can see down here i notice is it looks like the tail end of a whip and a heel there so i suspect we're also getting catwoman and um, it'd be a pretty weird collection not to include catwoman wouldn't it um so that would be pretty awesome. For me, it all depends on what the price is going to be. But, um, yeah, they look they look great. I've got to say, they do look really, really good. Uh, obviously, although the face isn't painted, the sculpting is brilliant here on this Keaton head. Uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. And it's really nice to see the leather. The quality of the leather on that cape uh, looks fantastic to me. So, very, very exciting indeed. Okay, there were some other uh, McFarlane toys uh, that have been announced in recent days. I'll just quickly scoot through them, obviously there's quite a lot. So we start off with uh, this character here, uh, a Justice League character. I don't know who it is, uh, I'm really sorry. Um, <laughs> but 
interesting cool that he's got this sort of leather coat again i love having multiple textures and it's great that they're including that I said i have no idea who this character is so it's not one for me but for what it's worth i think they've done you know a nice job of it um having nothing to to reference of course but looks like a nice figure uh, from my perspective nice to see there's even detailing underneath that coat there on the arms uh, obviously tattoos there on the biceps looks pretty cool mr terrific okay <laughs> okay um wasn't expecting that all right fair play <laughs> okay so who else have we got um oh, now this is the uh batman uh beyond batmobile um i'm so tempted by this i've, I've got this weight in in a basket but there's so many things i've bought lately i don't know whether i can just afford to put another another batmobile in the basket but this looks absolutely fantastic i love the batmobiles uh, you know i'm a fan of batman beyond i think this is really cool very unexpected and not only does it look good and i really like that it has a stand so it hovers which is really cool um, but it lights up and I think it has sounds as well. Um, I'm really glad that McFarlane Toys are sort of moving into this space um, because it was one thing that I felt let down the 89 Batmobile um, was that it, you know, it didn't have any lights and it would have looked so cool if it did and really glad that they've, you know, they're thinking that through and applying that now because this looks absolutely brilliant to me. Um, I think this looks really, really cool. Now there is, here we go, there are two versions of this Batmobile, there's the basic version which is basically the Batmobile with the light up and the sounds and, and that's it and then there's the version that comes with the figure and I think that costs an extra 20 or 30 uh, pounds or dollars um, and uh, you know that, what's the difference really with that Batman, well that Batman is painted deliberately to look like um, you know he's lit up when he's inside the uh, inside the Batmobile so you can see he's got all this uh, red paint decal here uh, to replicate kind of the, the cell shading I suppose that we'd see um, in, in this in the series or in the comic books and yeah um, it is really tempting because I think it looks great it's all about display isn't it and this looks fantastic you know you can see he's gripping the controls here and this just looks of course you've got the light so even if you have the standard version of uh, the Terry McGuinness Batman um, it's still going to light up and cast light on 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 him but it's not going to look as strong as this and this just looks well tailor-made doesn't it um and it looks really cool so i'm kind of debating myself if i do decide to pull the trigger on this which version i want to go for because i do like this look a lot i think this looks really really cool um and obviously it's quite tall i mean tall long uh it's 21 inches long uh which is which is great so it's quite impressive and it's gonna make a really nice display piece especially since so much of that cockpit is lit up from the outside like you can really see the red there through all those windows uh and of course on the exhaust uh, it looks looks really cool um so yeah I, I think this is this is a winner um one i'm sorely tempted by but as i said it's just a bit pricey so i'm not sure if i can pull the trigger on that one just yet okay um agent liberty um again not a character i'm familiar with at all um so obviously one for hardcore uh, dc fans um I, I don't really have much to say about this it it looks uh, nice i guess um i said it doesn't really speak to me at all but I'm sure there'll be uh, fans out there who appreciate having this in their collection. Okay, then we have a, a Green Lantern. I'm not familiar with this version of the Green Lantern, but then I'm not really uh, a Green Lantern fan, so I'm not the one. I do like these accessories, though. I do think it's got some really fun ring accessories there. I like that. That looks great. Cool, and then we've got a big, big monster. Um, I'm not sure who this is. Uh, obviously, it's a Justice League villain, I'm guessing. Um looking for a clue now as to who it is uh, it looks pretty cool uh, again a pass from me because i don't know who it is um so <laughs> um grid grid wow i mean i would never guess some of the names of these characters that's uh, uh that's that's interesting um yeah uh, it looks pretty cool um although you know i can already see from this figure like there's a there's a real lack of paint apps on some of these on the legs and around here and like obviously we can see the red on the end here which is quite nice and they do sort of gradiate that out a little bit but it just they need a bit more up here to make this look more realistic, in my opinion. Um, obviously, I'm not best qualified to speak on this because I don't know who the character is, but it just looks very plastically and, and, and slightly cheap looking. And it's a great sculpt. I just wish they'd capitalise on this kind of thing a bit more um, because it could look so much better with just you know a nice wash running over that. Okay, another one I'm not familiar with. It uh, looks like some kind of speeds the character. Um, yeah, sorry, not not a clue obviously comes with a number of different heads though and face plates which is kind of interesting lightning lad okay okay cool so um yeah if again if it's a character you're familiar with and you're interested in obviously you've got multiple versions so i'm guessing this is a character that's passed the mantle a couple of times you've got a few different options here which is great
Okay, then we get to some of the stuff that I'm probably more familiar with and, and kind of interested in. Uh, and I'm kind of in two minds because they're dropping a lot of figures around the Batman vs Superman, including a couple of deluxe sets, which is interesting. And we, we have this deluxe set here of two versions of Batman. We have the armored suit Batman there with the broken helmet. Um, and then um, and it looks pretty, like a pretty decent likeness of Ben Affleck there. And then we have the, the nightmare version of Batman uh, with the, uh, the face mask here pulled up, which is quite interesting. Um... I'm, I'm not sure this coat it looks like it has some shading down here which is good but up here it looks a little bit it looks a little bit bland i could have done with a bit of a wash there to make it look a bit more authentic i think um it's a cool design um but i'm not sure whether i need this many versions of batman um it comes with a nice diorama box piece here as well and this uh, this got the standard sort of mud sand that they can both stand on um kind of interesting uh part of me likes it I, I do like these accessories like all the different guns it comes with um it's very very cool um but at the same time i'm i'm not really sure since nothing really came of this version of the character I mean, we saw a few glimpses of it in justice league and obviously batman vs superman but because it never really came to fruition it's kind of i don't know it kind of feels weird um to have a figure of it um because it kind of it's a bit meaningless really um and then yeah with armored batman I, yeah i'm not sure i'm not sure I really don't know. Um, I think they, they, they look good, though. They look, they look pretty well made. I, I am tempted. Okay, and then we have a, a re-release of the Dark Side figure that we had a, uh, a couple of years ago when the the um, the Zack Snyder uh, cut was released. Um, McFarlane Toys did a did a line of Justice League figures, and of part of that they did uh, Dark Side, which is pretty cool. But this is a tweaked version. Um, I it obviously has very different colouring because that was blue, this is purple, um, and this is deluxe as well because he comes with his throne and even has this sort of fiery cardboard backing as well, uh, which is kind of cool. Now, I missed that figure first time around. I was kind of tempted, um, but I have to say, I think this is far superior. I really like the colouring a lot more on this figure, uh, and of course, it comes with that throne as well, which is really cool. It comes with a nice display piece in its own right, um, and I think this is really nice looking. So, I have to admit, I'm kind of tempted to pick this guy up. I do have the Steppenwolf, so it would be nice to kind of round out that collection um with the other major villain um which i think looks great and real shame we didn't get to see more um of dark side um in that film um so yeah absolutely fantastic i am very tempted to pull the trigger on this one i think he looks uh, really really cool he looks really well done um so i like that a lot and i think the other key difference is that the first version was bare chested as he is in this photo here uh, whereas this time he's got the the armor plating um around the chest area I think. Yeah. And he looks great. He looks really good. Well painted, nicely sculpted, and of course, a great uh, display feature. So, yeah, I think it looks really, really good. Okay. So, do we have... See the rest of the package in there? Yeah, looking pretty cool. Um, do we have anything else? I think that is everything from those photos however what we can see up here of course is the much talked about christopher reeve uh, 1978 superman uh, very very cool uh, sadly i don't have any oops um, <laughs> i don't have any um any other images uh, on this page to show you um but does this hint that we're going to get a you know a superman movie line of figures as we've seen with the batman in recent years i hope so um the head sculpt doesn't look to be super strong given being entirely honest in the photos i've seen so far but i'd love to have um a seven inch uh, christopher reeve superman i mean i do have uh, the necker version but i'd love to have you know one that's consistent with my other my other figures so uh, you know a, a mcfarlane toys version is very 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 welcome i hope it goes deep and i hope we're able to get say zod at least in this line so a superman 2 line would be really cool um that'd be brilliant of course alex luther uh, would be great but i think you know you're more limited with with the superman films i think in terms of the amount of characters you can do it's not the same as batman who has such a huge rogues gallery but i think there's a number of characters that'd be really nice to see but of course crucially just getting this figure is absolutely fantastic the cloth cape there it looks like it's wide as well um will be absolutely brilliant so yeah can't wait to get this fella he's gonna be absolutely fantastic the last thing i wanted to show you and i've already put my pre-order in for this the other reveal and it's gone up already because hasbro are brilliant at doing this they make announcements and they put them up for order pretty quickly um is the x-men 97 sentinel um now it, this guy 
it is not a HasLab um, release. So I actually had the HasLab Sentinel from a few years back. I, I funded that and that was a very, very pricey figure. This is pretty much the same size and scale, 22 inches tall. Um, so a pretty big figure, um, but he is just going up straight for order. Uh, I think there's a limited window. You've got a month, I think, to place your orders. He's coming out. He's due for release uh, September 25. So we've got a little bit of a wait for this guy, but at least there's none of that faffing about having to fund it and going through HasLab, uh, which you know, is a bit of a, you know, not a great experience and i'm really glad they have faith in this just just put it out there um so brilliant next year's going to be a pricey one because got that dragon man coming as well um so obviously you know hasbro going to take all my money again <laughs> but this is this is too cool to pass up i mean i love sentinels do i need another one well no but i love this design i love the x-men animated series and i know this is specifically from x-men 97 but it can pass very easily for the um you know the early 90s show as well and that's what i'm really interested in and I think they've done a fantastic job. Um, yeah, are, are people who bought the HasLab version getting fleeced a little bit because they invested all that money? If that was about £350, this is coming in about £186. Um, so, you know not quite half price, but, you know, obviously a lot less. Um, it does come with... Um, alternate head pieces to have a battle damaged head and a battle damaged chest piece it comes with two blast effects um we did get a lot more with the haslab version uh, we actually got three alternate heads we got the wires that came out the hands there was actually additional figures in there as well we got some of the um the bastion didn't we um so the human type sentinels from operation zero, zero tolerance um and you know it, it lit up as well um so i, I you know, it was it worth 350 pounds. I mean, it was a lot of money. Um, I had sable for a long time to get hold of that sucker. Um, but you know, I'm still really delighted with it. I think it's a fantastic piece, and I'm really glad I got him. So I think that means, yeah, he probably was worth it. Um, so you know, it, some people may feel like this is a bit of a kick in the teeth. Um, however, I think it, it looks very, very different. I'll be completely honest with you. This is my preferred look for the Sentinels. It's my favorite look for the Sentinels. So you know, um, if I had all the money in the world i'd probably get three of these um but as it is i'm just got to limit myself to one uh, and, and try and uh, save up for it but i think it looks absolutely fantastic um nice to see some you know high high res digital images of it here um you know obviously this is very attractive point with the other x-men 97 uh figures around it um but I, I just think it looks good i just think it looks absolutely brilliant this one you know is it is a great image obviously I have multiple flying at it yeah that 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 sells it that's a really cool cool image and there's a scale comparison there yeah you know there's no two ways about it this is great i love this design and um, i always wanted this in the original toy biz years um going way back to the 90s actually um they, they did a, a very static um but very tall um sentinel in this sort of scale it's this sort of comparison um but it was very static it didn't really move but i always wanted it i love i just love the look of this of this sentinel um so for me you know it's a must have i mean I didn't hesitate. I put my pre-order in first thing <laughs> this morning um, because, uh, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. So I can't wait uh, to get my hands on this guy. Um, and that, as they say, is that. Um, so I think I've covered everything there that was, you know, of particular interest to me. Um, I appreciate there's a lot of other stuff out there that might be uh, speaking to you. So go, by all means, check out uh, Toy Arc to see what else I've missed. If there's anything else that you're interested in um a lot of good stuff coming some of it coming quite soon um by the end of the year some of it coming uh, obviously it really most of it's coming in at 25 um but obviously it's starting off that year really really well very exciting um a lot of fantastic stuff coming our way next year and you know this year wasn't bad either there was some great stuff this year so uh very exciting good time to be uh, a fan i think uh, collecting these figures uh, as ever thank you so much for your time uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments and uh, i'll see you in the next video I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider giving the video a like. That kind of thing really does help the channel out and it allows me to keep making more content. And if you're interested in seeing more content, remember to hit subscribe as there'll be plenty more videos coming soon.